Hey everyone and welcome back. In this video I'm going to be showing you two things that you can get for free. Now of course because of the title as you've probably guessed one of the things that I'm going to show you how you can get for free is money. Yes that's right. In this video I'm going to be showing you step by step a method that people are using every day to earn money on autopilot passively. Yep and the way that they do that is they go online and they find cute and funny photos like these photos here and then they copy and download them and then paste them into an app to turn them into merch like stickers, posters, t-shirts, notepads and phone cases. And then they sell this merch online for free. Yep, no startup costs, no hidden fees, no investment money required. If you follow this video, doing this is 100% free. And yes, before anyone asks, this method can be done in many countries worldwide. And best of all, this method is legal too, because you see, here's the thing, right? That word, legal, it's a very important word because what a lot of people don't realize is that if I were to come here to Google Images and just search for cute dog photos and pick one that I found and then just downloaded it and tried to sell it on, say, a poster, that would be completely and utterly illegal. Yep, not only would my poster probably get removed from the internet, but I could even risk getting sued. Why? Well, it's because of this. Copyright laws, yes, in most countries worldwide, the moment that you make any sort of art, and yes, this does include photos, it is instantly protected by copyright. No registration required. That means that only you, the photographer, have the rights to use your photo for both commercial and non-commercial purposes unless you explicitly give someone else permission or the rights to use your photo. And so what that means then is that if I go and try to download and use this photo here, that would be illegal because it is the American Kennel Club that has the copyright and license to use this photo and I don't. So if I use it, I risk a takedown notice or I risk being sued by them since only they have the legal right to use it. And so guess what? For this video, the method I'm going to teach you, we are not going to be using any copyrighted photos. Nope. Instead, I'm going to show you how you can find amazing, gorgeous photos for free that you can use legally. Because as you'll see, these photos are in what is called the public domain. Yes. So the public domain simply refers to art such as photos that does not have any copyright protection at all. Oh, that means that anyone can use these images for any legal purpose, such as reselling them onto merch to earn money. And there are two ways that a picture, including a photo, can be in the public domain. One way is that copyright protection expires as it does not last forever. So for example, the historical painter Leonardo da Vinci's paintings are now in the public domain. And the second way that art, including photos, can enter the public domain is if the creator of it chooses to waive the copyright protection and place their photo in the public domain as an act of generosity. And the really cool thing is that there are millions of amazing, super cool public domain photos. Like these photos here where the original creator, i.e. the photographer, has generously chosen to waive their copyright protection and place their photos in the public domain so that we can use them. Yay. And so in this video, I'm going to show you how to find the best of these funny and cute photos and then I'll show you how people are selling them on autopilot to make money. And then I'll also show you how you can copy this method to earn free money too. But remember how at the start of the video, I'd also show you how you can get something else for free because it's true, something else that you can get 100% for free with no hidden startup costs and no fees is my eternal gratitude by taking a moment out of your very busy day to give my video a like and to subscribe because seriously, every time you do it, it genuinely supports me. So thank you so much for those of you out there that take a moment to do so. But yes, now that you have clicked the like button, we can move on to the real reason why you are here, which is to get free money. So let's start out with part one, how to find funny and cute free public domain photos. So to do that, we are going to come over to this amazing website here, Pixabay. On here, you can find over 1.5 million high definition, stunning public domain photos that you are legally allowed to resell. So to find a cute or funny photo to resell, just come in here and type in something that is, well, cute or funny. And so I chose to do a search for puppies since they can be both cute and funny, which is a winning combination with customers. 
So go through the photos and find ones that you think people might like to buy if it was sold as merch, like if they'd be interested in buying it as a poster or as a t-shirt or a pillow or a sticker. So I picked this photo here because it's both cute and of course it's funny because the puppy also looks kind of unimpressed. <laughs> but now, this is the important part. When you do choose a photo like this that you think people might like to buy, do not, I repeat, do not download it yet. Nope, and here is why. In January 2019, Canva, an awesome graphic editing app that, as you'll see, we will be taking a closer look at further on in this tutorial, purchased Pixabay. They implemented a new rule that for all photos uploaded from January 9th, 2019 and onwards, they would all be given a special Pixabay image license that has restrictions on how you can use those photos for commercial purposes, such as reselling them. And you know what? The thing about Pixabay is that they link to this license on all pages of their website, even on photos that have a public domain license, which is, I think, a sneaky trick to confuse people to think that all photos have this license, but whatever. There is a lot of debate over what some of the wording means in this license, so I think it would be easy to accidentally get into trouble trying to sell images with the Pixabay license if you do it wrong. And so my honest recommendation to keep things simple so that you're using photos that you know you're legally allowed to use is to just stick to photos that were uploaded before January 9th, 2019. And that's because before Pixabay was bought by Canva, it was a public domain only website, which means all the photos uploaded to it by the generous photographers were giving their photos a public domain license, which means as long as you're using the photos for legal purposes, it has no commercial restrictions. And the cool thing is that once these photos have been placed in the public domain, they are there forever. <laughs> Yay. So for this photo here, we can check out when it was uploaded, and sadly, we can see it was uploaded July 30th, 2019. So honestly, just to keep things simple, I'd rather avoid it altogether. However, if we come back to the search results, you'll see that there is another cute and funny photo of a corgi pup on here. And if you check out the date that it was uploaded, it was uploaded on May 11th, 2018, which is well before January 9th, 2019, which means that this photo was uploaded to the public domain. Yay. And there are no takesies backsies. <laughs> Once it's in the public domain, it's there forever. So we can now download it. We want to download the biggest version of the photo as possible. And to do that, you just need to create a free account with Pixabay. So go ahead and do that. And once you've logged in to your new account, you'll be able to download all the photos on their website in their highest definition and biggest size that they've been uploaded in. Woohoo! So then, let's move on to part two of this video, showing you how people are making money on autopilot every day from reselling free photos. So to do this, come on over to this free website, Redbubble. Now, while my longtime subscribers will know what Redbubble is, most of my viewers are new around here, so I'll quickly explain what it is to those viewers. So, Redbubble is a website that lets you upload pictures for free and sell it onto merchandise like t-shirts, prints, and stickers. And here's how it works. First, you create a free account with Redbubble. Next, you upload your photo that you want to sell and give it a title, relevant keywords as tags, and a description. And then next, you browse through Redbubble's products that they can print your photo onto and choose which ones you think that it'll look best on. You can edit your photo on each product and change the background color and get it looking the way that you want to. And then you save it. Redbubble will now create product pages on its website for each of the products that you created. Redbubble is a super popular website, getting around 30 to 40 million visits from customers each month looking for cute and funny art and photos to buy on merch that they couldn't buy from a big chain store. Within minutes, your products will be live on their site, and now their millions of customers will be able to find your photos to buy. And then each time that someone does come and buys your photo on a piece of merch, one of Redbubble's print shops will then print your design onto the product, package it up, and then ship it out to the customer. They'll collect the money the customer paid and remove their production fees and then pay you the profit as a commission. In their 2021 annual shareholders report, Redbubble revealed that they've paid out over $100 million in commissions in the past year to people who have uploaded pictures to their website. Such as my viewers here. Congratulations everybody on your success. As you can see, once you list your pictures for sale on Redbubble, it's a super passive way to make money as they take care of everything for you. 
And as long as you live in a country that accepts PayPal, you're eligible to sell on Redbubble. In the e-commerce industry, we call Redbubble a print-on-demand website because that's exactly what they do. They print merch on demand as customers order it. And if you'd like to learn how I and others are earning passive income every day with print-on-demand, you should be sure to download my free ebook, The Six Steps That Six Figure Online Stores Follow to Make Over $10,000 a Month. And you'll find a link to download my free ebook in the video description below. But anyway, back to the video. And you know what? I'm going to show you something pretty cool. So here's the thing, right? On Redbubble, one of their most popular items with customers is stickers. And stickers also have super high profit margins, which makes them an especially good item to sell. And check this out. If we come here and do a search for puppy stickers, Redbubble will show us their most popular stickers with customers that feature puppies. And guess what? A bunch of these are just photos that people have copied, edited, and then re-uploaded to Redbubble for free. Take this sticker here. The creator of the sticker did not take the photo of the puppy that they've uploaded, and I know this because I came to this reverse image search engine, Tinai, and I uploaded the picture that they uploaded to Redbubble and found that, surprise, surprise, this was just a picture that they had found on the internet. They copied it, edited it, and re-uploaded it. And now, it's a popular puppy Redbubble sticker. And editing it by removing the background was really, really smart. Because you see, before you go and you sell any pictures or photos on websites like Redbubble, I highly, highly recommend reading their terms and conditions to make sure that your pictures and photos meet their content guidelines. Because even though it's legal to resell public domain photos, it doesn't stop private websites like Redbubble choosing to restrict it on their own website. And their rules can change any day, so make sure you go and read their rules today before you upload anything to the site. But as of me today filming this video, you'll see that Redbubble does state that you can use public domain images, but they like it to be a part of an original picture that you create. And so by taking this picture and then removing the background, not only did they improve it by making it a more engaging sticker than if they just copied and pasted the photo as is, but what they also did was they took a pre-existing photo and then they effectively turned it into an original picture by editing it. And so that now brings us to part three of this video, how to copy this so that you can resell your photos for cash for free. And to do this, come on over to this graphics app Canva. As my longtime subscribers will know, this is one of my favorite tools that I personally use to create and sell print on demand pictures. Now, Canva have two versions, a free version of their app and a pro version. For this video, we will need the pro version Luckily though, Canva does have a huge 30-day free trial that you can use. So you can use this app for free if you register for their free trial. And if you want to find a link to Canva's 30-day free trial, I'll have a link to it in the video description below. Alright, so once you're inside of Canva, you want to essentially paste that cute or funny photo that you thought people might want to buy into your Canva account. And now you can edit it to turn it into something new and original. So for this photo, the way I'm going to turn it into something new and original is I'm going to use the background remove tool inside of Canva to get rid of the background and have the cute little corgi be just by himself. And then next, I'm going to select a color filter for it. So since Redbubble users tend to be quite young, I'm going to go with a trendy filter Kali to soften out the colors and make the picture a bit more trendy. And now I can come to Canva and save the picture. So I'm going to increase it by at least two times so that it will print in higher resolution onto Merch and I'm also going to make that white background transparent. And these two features do require a pro account, not a free one, which is why we got the free pro trial to make these changes when saving the picture. But yes, in just a minute, I have gone from this to this and turned it into a new original edited picture. I went ahead and did a quick check using Tinai's reverse image search engine to make sure nobody had uploaded my photo to Redbubble before so that my picture would be original and I wouldn't be copying anyone else. And since no one had, I went ahead and I listed it for sale on Redbubble, yay. And if you want to learn some tips, tricks, and strategies for picking great titles and keywords and things like that to get people to click on your products and buy them, there are lots of great free video tutorials on YouTube from people who were earning hundreds to thousands of dollars a month in passive income on Redbubble that show you how to do this. And I highly recommend that you check these tutorial videos out. And so I hope this video 
will inspire you to come up with your own creative ways for how you can take public domain photos and then turn them into something new and then resell them on Redbubble. Because honestly, with Canva, you can do so many things. So for example, if we come back over to the site, you'll see that a popular sticker trend on Redbubble is to take pictures and photos of popular trendy animals like dogs and then to give them sunglasses. Well, if we wanted to make our own version of this popular sticker, doing so with the method I just showed you is easy. So I'll show you how you could do it. So first of all, I came to Pixabay and I found a super cool free public domain photo of a dog portrait. And then I downloaded the high definition version of this photo and I uploaded it to Canva and removed the background. Next, I used the built-in epic filter to give it a trendy vintage feel and aesthetic to transform the image. And then after that, I came to the built-in graphics that Canva has and I found a picture of sunglasses that I then dragged and dropped onto my photo and resized. And then just like that, I had created my own version of the sticker trend for free. Yay. So then, did this video inspire you? If it did, please hit subscribe and click that little notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my videos. And if you'd like to learn more ways that you can make money online for free, you should be sure to watch my video. 100 websites and apps that you can use to earn money online for free. So go ahead, watch my next video, and I'll see you over there.